welcome back to my channel Cosmic Vistas. Today's video is going to be about how to inculcate habits which can lead to happiness in our day to day life. As we all know, our life is directly proportional to the kind of thoughts which we get. So, if we start working on our thoughts, if we start uh, trying to make our thoughts more positive, our life will be automatically happy. In this video, I'll share five habits which you guys can adopt to increase happiness in your life from the First habit which you can adopt is uh, positive affirmations. Positive affirmations are basically uh, the positive phrases which uh, you speak out loud to yourself which describes how you want to be. Uh, for instance, uh, I'm happy, I'm wealthy, I am kind. So you need to write down five things. Area of uh, focus can be according to your life. It can be about your health. It can be about your career, etc. And then what you need to do is include that list in your daily uh, morning routine. So take out two minutes, speak those uh, things which you have written out loud with all the belief that yes, you have all the power to achieve them and eventually you will start noticing the difference. Also, by saying uh, positive affirmations in the morning, you start your day in a very positive note. So once your day starts in a positive note, automatically the whole day will be more productive and more happy. Well, this is something which I've made for myself. It includes uh, positive affirmations and some other stuff. Second habit is to connect with nature. When we are in nature, when we spend time in nature, it pumps up our endorphins and lowers our stress hormones. We can do various activities. We can go for uh, cycling or we can go for a walk, whichever way it is comfortable to us. Well, the third uh, point is to get out of your comfort zone. So once you start pushing yourself above a comfort zone, you experience so much more. So I have a small video for you which will show you the levels of comfort zone. Please check it out. So here are the steps for getting out of the comfort zone. In comfort zone, you are feeling safe and in control. But when you decide to get out of it, Slowly and gradually, you'll enter the sphere zone where uh, you'll feel lack of self-confidence. You'll find excuses for not doing the things which you want to do. But then you need to push yourself more and slowly and gradually, you'll enter learning zone. Well, here you'll acquire new skills and you will know how to deal with the challenges and your problems. Keep on going because you're going on the right track and at the end, you'll be in the growth zone. That is where magic happens. So now you have achieved and conquered your objectives and you are ready to achieve more. Fourth way to inculcate the habit is to start planning your day. You can plan it with a planner or the, there are so many apps uh, coming around uh, these days to plan your day. I'll just show you the glimpse of my planner. So I bought this planner last year in the month of December. And I'm actually very, very happy about it. So I'll just show you uh, the section for the month. It is for July month. Now there's a calendar where you can write uh, down the important dates and important tasks. Then you've got notes for the month. And then whole plan that what skills are you practicing, books which you are reading, goals for the month. It is actually very helpful in tracking down your goals. And then uh, there's this section, day to day wise section where you can just jot down the to do list. I also write grateful things uh, in this side and then left side I just write to do list. Fifth way is to forgive and let go. 
Now forgiveness is something which can be very hard to do. But you need to remember that uh, harboring the resentment and holding a grudge against someone can even hurt you more. So it's better to accept it and then let go. You can do it by four steps. First, you need to acknowledge that if something has happened. Uh, second, you need to learn from the experiences. Third, you need to understand that the person who has wronged you is also a human being and human beings are actually filled with flaws. Fourth, for your inner peace, you need to say it out loud that yes, I forgive you. You, you can also say that person uh, directly or you can just say it loud. Yes, I forgive you and then move on. I really hope this video can help you in one or the other way. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and also let me know in the comment section below. Take care.